Welcome to All Things Catholic. I'm Andrew, and thanks so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. Today we're going to talk about how to respond to the Holy Spirit. Why are we talking about this? We're talking about this because so many people don't seem to understand what the Holy Spirit feels like when it enters into our lives, and more importantly, what do we do when we feel it? Well, when we feel it, to me, it always feels like a rush of cold air, almost like a chill. And when I get this feeling, I have to start to acknowledge that something different happened. I also am acknowledging that God wants to use me at this moment for something great. And what he has done is he has enabled me to feel his presence. So how do we respond in the Spirit? We should respond right away by bowing our heads, closing our eyes, and asking the Spirit, What will you want me to do? What can I do to accomplish your will? If I'm blessed so much for you to approach me, let me have the courage to respond. Let me to have the ability to say yes to you so that ultimately you will be given all the glory. And then whatever happens next, have the courage to do it. This might come out commonly, let's say you're getting a cup of coffee, and all of a sudden you feel the Holy Spirit come upon you, and you say, I'm called to do something great right now. If you feel led to ask that person, can I pray for you? Or you feel led to pay for someone's coffee, or the Spirit tells you to do something else, make sure that you're responding in a way that gives Him the glory. Say yes, have the courage, and thank Him for letting you be part of something great. So oftentimes, we feel the Spirit and we back away and we say, well, I don't want that. I'm not going to do that. I don't have the courage to do that. Think about Moses. If Moses wouldn't have acted out in the Spirit, and he just would have said, you know, Lord, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go talk to Pharaoh. Are you kidding? No, he didn't say no to that at all. He just said, how am I supposed to do that? I can't talk very well. And the Lord provided a way. He said, don't worry, your brother Aaron will speak on your behalf. But if we are getting acknowledged by the Spirit, and something incredible comes up to where we feel that, and he is calling us to be part of his kingdom in a unique and beautiful way, the best and most loving thing we can do is to say, Yes, Lord, here I am. Send me the same as Abraham did. And through that, be expectant that something great is going to happen. But most of all, do it because the Lord himself is going to get all the glory, not you. But through this, your will will slowly conform to his will. Your acknowledgement of the Spirit and your willingness to say yes will present itself more and more. That's how you become a servant of God. You are truly waiting for his beck and call. And through that, you will then no longer fear. You will no longer question. You will no longer consider what will happen if I do. You will simply do it because you want him to gain all the glory. And if you can be part of his kingdom, you're willing to do that for him. Because ultimately, your end goal is to hear, well done, good and faithful servant. So remember, the next time you feel that Holy Spirit call, say yes to him. Take a moment and pray and say, Lord, here I am. Send me. Please make sure to subscribe and hit the notification button and check in for frequent content of all things Catholic. Thank you for being here and God bless.